He opened up about his battle with grief in BAFTA award-winning documentary Rio Ferdinand being mum and dad. And three years ago, uh, I thought three years on, Rio, along with his wife Kate, are letting the cameras in once again, this time to highlight the ups and downs of becoming a step family. Well, it's very powerful and very heartfelt and Kate and Rio join us now. Welcome to both of you. It's tough, it's really tough watching that actually and this is the reality, this is your life. But, um, the, the first documentary that you did, Rio, I mean, not only did it win the BAFTA, but almost more important than that was how much it resonated with so many people and actually the power mm. of what something making this has on other people. And this is going to affect so many people. One in three families, I think, are blended families. Mm. Was that part of your decision to do this? Yeah, I think it was. I think the first one, as you said, it just hit so many people and people from all walks of life were kind of like approaching me and saying thank you. Speaking out was such a huge thing. It allows me to actually feel comfortable doing that as well. And yeah. I think this is another area where a lot of people sometimes feel vulnerable, feel on their own. Can I speak about things? Is it just me that this happens to? Whereas, as we found on this journey, speaking to other people in our situation, there is lots of people go through this and it's taught us that communicating and talking is a key part of yeah. the, the way forward mm -hmm. and trying to actually solve that or get to the bottom of the problems that you have in your life. Mm -hmm. Did you have reservations about doing it? I was really nervous. Were you? Yeah, it's quite scary. You know, we're quite private and to let the world in and know what you're going through, it was really difficult. It's been such a journey. I mean, even looking back at that clip, it makes me really emotional. Mm. I just feel like we've been through so much as a family. Mm. Um, it was difficult, but it, it's been... I'm really glad we've done it. It's got us to where we are now. I think it was a, like the last one. This has been a really uh, therapeutic mm. journey, filming it. It really helped us because um, we've had to talk, we've had to work things out, listen to people, yeah. get people's opinions who have been through this as well, which has been great. And it's also introduced you as parents to a different approach. And you went to sort of group centres where you learnt different ways of dealing with, with what you were going through as a family. And that really helped you as well. Explain what you did there. Massively. We went to Child Bereavement UK and we met children that have lost a parent or a family member. And they actually gave us a bit of advice on, you know, how the children might be feeling. And that was, wow, it was amazing, emotional. But, you know, it helped us to communicate with our children. Mm -hmm. And we also went to Happy Steps. Where we met step families. We always felt quite alone, didn't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. That we didn't really know anyone in a similar situation. So just to meet people and to talk, mm -hmm. it just it feels like a weight's lifted off your shoulders. Yeah. You, um, you were very honest and very open um, about the whole thing, really. I mean, there, there were very personal moments. Going to the grave, I mean, you mm -hmm. think, that, well, that's, that's really letting the cameras in. Yeah, and I think it's important for, for everyone to understand, listen, like, we're very fortunate and lucky to be in a position where we, we have the resources to do certain things that can bring happiness for periods and moments of our children's lives and ours, which is well documented on Instagram, as you probably know, you see and stuff, mm -hmm. but that doesn't let you into everything. And that, you don't see the downtimes, you don't see the moments where emotions are very, very low and there's children having spikes and in terms of how their emotions are hurting them and making them feel. Um, so I think it's important for people to see the realness of that and, mm. and understand that it doesn't matter how much resources or money that you've got, that's materialistic things can't, they can't deal with emotions. It's, it's you as people, have to speak mm. to people, meet people, and us going through this has been really, really helpful in that, mm. in that sense. And, and Kate, what would you say the biggest challenge of coming into this family has been for you, being, being a stepmom? Everything, really. <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't... My demands. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't cook. Even just, you know, coming to a house that wasn't my own, yeah. it was Rebe Rio, Rebecca and the children's house, and living in that house I found really difficult. I think I found everything hard. I couldn't yeah. cook, getting the PE kits ready. You know, I used to... Rio, you're laughing. Mm -hmm. I used to forget and get myself in such a state, thinking, oh, my God, I've forgotten this, I've forgotten this. Mm. I, it was just a whole new... Way of living, well, you really. kind of learn to sort of be a, be a mum right from the day. You're sort of learning together right from the start, and it's baby steps, baby steps. When you come in as a stepmom, you're sort of thrown in at the deep end, really. Yeah. So it was, it's, t it's a really tough role, I think. And even things like I go to the doctors and they say, "Have the children have chicken pox before?" And I go, "I don't yeah. know, have they?" Mm. And I sort of felt at loads of different points I was stuck again, and I didn't know the answer to lots of things. It's been difficult. It was a hard couple of years just, you know, getting to know the children, getting to know Rio, what they like, what they don't. I mean, when you move in even with a boyfriend, you find out what they're really like when you move in with them. So moving yeah. in with a whole family that's already formed, mm. it was difficult. Just yeah. things you don't think about. No. Mm. And so what is the answer to that? I mean, what do you, how do you deal with that? What? It's a hard one. Well, the clothes are still there because Rebecca wanted Tia to have the clothes. It's yeah. just where you store them, what you do. It, it didn't feel right, you know, but it is for our family.
that is our reality. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's about, again, talking with the, ch the children. We've made them a real key part in any decisions that have been made in the house um, with regards to photos, um, just certain rooms, and to make them feel a part of it in the decision-making of making change, because change mm -hmm. can be very, like, it can affect children in a negative way, but also if you deal with it right in a positive way. And we've been very lucky to find that keeping them involved in that decision-making has mm. been very positive for us. And I think it's, Kate, as well, you have to be kind of mindful of there are lots of feelings in the house and, you, and you've and you got to make sure you take care of yourself as, as a, a, the parent coming in, yeah. as well as the children. You're, um, I mean, again, your honesty is extraordinary and it's really admirable. And you, there's a bit in the documentary and it's your dad mm. and he's talking about when Kate first came into your life and he had his reservations and it was really important to put those... Because that is reality. People do feel about that, about new relationships mm. and you kept that in. Not yeah. just for myself, for almost... And so just life. explain sort of what he's saying here. And yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's kind of saying this and I had my reservations. My care and concern was the grandchildren yeah. to make sure they were confident, they were happy. Um, and they were comfortable in his situation. And, but he was very standoffish and he could sometimes affect the ambience in the house when he came in. And that didn't help us as a unit, as a family. Yeah. So I had to have some frank uh, conversations with my dad, which, Again, normally, yeah, yeah. which I'd normally wouldn't normally happen. But for the sake of our, our five, I had to do that. And it was for the, be the better because he's been fantastic. As, as um, many other people have, have come around, I think Lisa has been, who, who Kate's really close to now, has been a real huge kind of rock for you to lean on at times as well. And, and so it's, it's, you need people. You need people to understand you and communicate with. Yeah, and Lisa was Rebecca's best friend. And she, yeah. I couldn't, I don't think I'd be here if it wasn't for her. She's helped mm. me so much. Mm, yeah. It makes me emotional. It, yeah, that is it has a fabulous conclusion. Uh, and that's the, uh, that's the wedding in Turkey. Um, mm. and, uh, and so for you, did you feel at the, at the end of that, right, okay, this is, we've done it now. This is this is this is the trip we're prepared to take you on, um, mm. and uh, and now we'll crack on with our lives. I think there's always going to be issues. You know, the children have lost their mum and their nan, so I think they come in and out of grief. We're at a good place now, but you just never know what's yeah. what's to come. Mm. And what about the cameras? I mean, you think uh, the kids wanted to be on it more? Oh. <laughs> <Did they? laughs> Like, I was going to say, why can't we show up faces? Oh, my why hair can't looks we good be there. on it? Yeah. <laughs> is my voice in it and stuff? So they're, but listen, they're, they're, again, they've been a key part of every decision we've made in terms of from asking Kate out to getting engaged to getting married. They've been a complete part of that as I was making this documentary. Mm. And what they do want is a baby brother or sister because they've made that perfectly clear, haven't yes. they? Yes. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the space, I guess. <laughs> well, that would be lovely. Wouldn't Thank it? you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.